Hey world, this is uh, Uncle Stephen, or Stephen's life. Um, I think this is number 22, I'm not exactly sure. Today is uh, Tuesday, the uh, 228 of 2017, February. The reason I'm talking today is because I want to talk about uh, the idea of having friends. You know, I've been having, I've had troubles making friends all my life. Probably because I got bipolar and schizophrenia and epilepsy and everything. And I get tired of being by myself in this house. It's no fun. Everybody needs a friend. Everybody needs someone to talk to. Well, I for one would like to have that. You know, I'd like to have someone I can talk to and conversate and be with. But, you know, that's the way life is. People don't treat you well anymore. I'd also like to tell you about DVR, Division of Vocational Rehabilitation. DVR is a program that's supposed to be for people with disabilities. Well, I disagree. I've decided that DVR, which is Alice King, head of DVR. Alice King is a lady that, uh, she's heavyset and obese, and, and uh, she's got a lot of problems, but she's the head of DVR. And she violates federal law whenever she pleases. I've had troubles with her because of what she's done in the past. You know, first of all, what she's done is that she had me sign an illegal contract, which denied me my rights to freedom of speech under the first Constitution, under the first amendment of the Constitution. Freedom of speech is allowed by everyone in the Constitution of the United States for whatever purpose. But this contract she had me sign was illegal. And I, and I felt that I was being denied my rights under the Freedom of Speech Act. You know, I'm a nonconformist. I don't believe in rules. But I also don't believe in being taken advantage of. See, our, our government, New Mexico State government, I've been told by police officers, by uh, district attorneys, that they, and by many other government agencies that we don't have to obey federal law. Well, when did that come in, in contact? Under New Mexico state rules, I've been told by several agencies well, that we don't have to abide by federal guidelines or federal agencies or federal rights. Well, Alice King, in my opinion, who is, runs DVR in Las Vegas, New Mexico, needs to be fired, terminated from her job. Because she violated my rights under the Freedom of Speech Act. That's why I don't like her. She violated my rights. She had me uh, uh, taken off of DVR, which is Division of Vocational Rehabilitation, because I wrote in Facebook, see, she has had spies from Eastern New Mexico University spy on me several times. I don't trust a woman. I never will. She had... Several times that she accused me of several different things, and I said, I have every right to speak my mind under the United States Constitution, under the Freedom of Speech Act. And she said, well, I can, well, we'll just determine, we'll, we'll terminate you from our program. I said, you can't do that. That's a violation of federal law. Then I talked bad about DVR, and then she did it anyway. I'm, I'm not going to put up with anything that DVR does. They, are, they discriminate against people because they got a disability. Now, I've got epilepsy and bipolar and schizophrenia, but that doesn't give any government agency a right to discriminate against me. I'm also learning disabled. That's the reason why I'm going through DVR services. I want to start a business, but I don't want to have to abide by their idea of what's right and wrong. You know, I don't want to have to abide by their idea of a business plan. I was told by Matthew Lasco that I don't need a business plan in order to be able to start a business. I've been contacting Ben Lujan, our state representative for uh, Tom Udall. I wrote, I wrote uh, Tom Udall's office myself. I've written several letters to both the state representatives, the Board of Education, the, uh, the, the, the Board of uh, uh, the Department of Agriculture. I even wrote a letter to President Trump talking about DVR offices and how they don't have to obey federal law. You know, 
I'm, I'm tired of being hurt and being discriminated against by this DVR office and Alice King. I've decided I want to start this free college. This free college I want to start up, I'm, I'm going to call it the uh, Roosevelt County the part, uh, Roosevelt County um, Institute, Institute of Technology. What it's going to be is a free college for every American in the United States. Why am I trying to do a free college for everybody in the United States? Well, I feel that people are disabled and being discriminated against. Because of the fact that if they have a disability, DVR just wants to put everybody on low income, minimum wage jobs. And I want to make a job. I want to make. I want to be a dean of a school, or I want to be the owner of this school, and I want to make a hundred k a year, be able to make a good living at it. I don't have to have experience to get it. According to Matthew Lasker, who worked for the government for over thirty five years, who got government funding and provided government funding from many sources and got paid for it, I don't have to. I don't have to give a business plan. I don't have to do all this other stuff. To be able to get government resources, I don't have to go through small businesses, small business in the Clovis, New Mexico. It's not fair of a government agency to think that they can control you and tell you how to live. Alice King is, has violated my rights several times under federal law, and she's told me left and right that she doesn't have to obey the law under federal guidelines and freedom of speech. That contract she had me write. In 2016, I think it was, or 2015, violating my constitutional rights. I'm never going to trust this bimbo, in my opinion. I'm never going to trust a woman who violates my rights. You know, your people, you people out there deserve the same rights as anyone else. Constitutional rights matter. Constitutional law matters. The right to travel anywhere in the intercontinental United States, anywhere in the United States, Without a driver's license, without proof of ID, without insurance, and it's and no government agency that violates federal law has the right to, to tell you otherwise. I don't have to give a license plate. I don't have to get insurance. I don't have to give a driver's license, and I don't have to get a plate. There is no state law that obey, that can outweigh federal law. I'm tired of being told I have to do this. I'm tired of have to being told I have to do that. You know, I'm not going to put up with Alice King. I'm not going to put up with DVR. I'm not going to put up with government agencies that violate constitutional rights. You know, I've been reading a lot of rights recently, and this is how I feel about it. It's not right for any government agency to tell you you can't do this and you can't do that and then deny you uh, uh, ability to be able to to be able to say what you want. And then and have you write an illegal contract? That's what Alice King did. That's why I don't like messing with DVR. You know, I'd love, really like to have a friend, but I'm not going to allow anyone to, dis to discriminate against me. You know, I do want a friend. I've been out there looking for one, and it's very hard for me to find one. And I don't understand why it's so hard, but it is. People don't understand me a lot of times. I'm a nonconformist. I don't conform conform the rules. You know, I really feel that as, as American, that every person has a right to have a friend. But I'm going to tell you right now, don't deal with government agencies that violate the law. You know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get me a job. I'm going to do whatever it takes to continue to let me work. And just because people my age are retiring, doesn't mean I shouldn't work. My father, I told him, even though you're seven, 69 years of age, you should still have a job. I told many of people, just because they're 70 and 80 and 90 years of age shouldn't, doesn't mean you shouldn't work. The more you work, even the better you can stay alive and make you feel better about yourself. Retiring is wrong. It's stupid to retire. Anyway, y'all have a good day for, for the day. And remember to continue to work. Continue to try to do what's right for you. I'm trying to start up a school here in New Mexico for every person in the United States. And because I'm trying so hard, to do this and trying to make sure that every person that has a job, I want you people to know that you can do things too. Anybody can do anything you want. You just got to have a dream and decide to do it. Y'all have a good day in the name of Jesus Christ and have a and have a good day. And it's the last day of hell week for most people like myself on disability. I don't want to be on disability forever. I want to work. Y'all have a good day. Bye.